Hey, I just want to point out, first of all, the, uh, the sweet chair that I'm sitting on. It's uh, probably from 1950. I don't know, somewhere around there. It's my grandma's old chair. Anyway, uh, I haven't actually seen an interview before, so if this sucks, it's totally not my fault. Uh, he asked me to do it, so, I mean, his bad judgment. Anyway, let's start this thing off. I am Adam. I'm a student in upstate New York. Um, I'm 18 years old, senior in high school. Uh, let, let's see the questions. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So what do I do for a living? I am a student, and over the summer, so from June to end of August, I teach magic at a summer camp and teach little teeny kids to take their cards like this and and give them give them a cut. Okay, good. And I teach them to what else do I do? I don't, I don't know. Oh, so there there's one card here and we place it and oh, oh, into the deck and it comes back to the top, okay. <laughs> so it, it's stuff like that, and the kids are really little, so I mean, they, they kind of get it, but at the same time, they don't at all. It's a good place to uh, just play with little kids' minds, see what works, see what doesn't work. I mean, it's a good time. It's not a magic camp, it's a camp for all things. The kids can just come and hang out in magic, have a good time and we can just dig off and do nothing. <laughs> so, how long have I been doing magic and flourishing? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story. As a little kid, I was about five years old or six years old. I didn't get to sleep all that well, so, well, I, I would get to sleep fine, but I wouldn't sleep well. So I'd wake up at probably five o'clock in the morning every single day. So one day, I turn on the TV, Click. And I see World's Greatest Magic. I'm like, oh, sweet, I'll, I'll watch this shit. So, I was going to sing the music for you, but you would instantly know it by then. So anyway, there's this guy, and he's standing on stage in complete darkness. So, I guess it's a dark stage. I'm just going to drop this card. Is that cool? All right, good. So anyway. Uh, he's, there's a black stage, and there's this blaring techno music playing, and the eyes, poof, poof, they flash to the beat. So, that happens for a while, and then he turns around, and you're like, oh, what the hell? There's flashing lights in the back of his head, and he has a mask on, and he waves his hand over it, and the mask changes, and blah, 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 he keeps going, and the, the, the hat comes off, and then the mask changes, and then... You get the idea. It's it's Jeff McBride. And he takes the cards out and boom, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and he, he gets the, the popping back and forth. Anyway, I saw that and I was like, I gotta do this. That is me when I get older. And it was. It is. So that's pretty much how I got started in magic, really. I pursued it from there and it worked out. As for flourishing, um, well, I'll, I'll get into this later, in one of the later questions, but I started out probably five or six years ago, somewhere around there, before the whole Devo thing started, and once that did, that really steered where I was going, but I'll get into this later, so hold that thought. Um, how much do I practice a day? Well, I don't know if this camera is focused on me correctly. I think it's just like this space right here. But anyway, um, if you could see what I'm doing right now, I'm just kind of fiddling with cards as I'm speaking. So those weird noises you hear in the background, yeah, those are cards slapping together. <laughs> um, mm, I'd say probably, well, I only practice with cards when I'm home. I'm not like that person who you sit in the corner of the room and you just kind of hunch over and you masturbate with cards. No, that's not me. Um, so it's when I'm not doing anything else and I'm at home, probably on the computer. 
uh, I'd say probably two hours a day, maybe, tops. Nah, also when I'm watching TV and eating, brushing my teeth, using the bath. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, it's probably when I'm watching TV or being on the computer. I don't know, probably three hours tops a day. But it's not like a focused, like, training session. It's just me doing whatever I want, listening to music or watching TV. Now that I've repeated myself six times, let's keep going. What are my plans for the future? Well, I'm going to college next year. Or university, as you Europeans say. Uh, it's in... It's just outside of Boston. I'm not going to tell you where, because I don't want any crazy stalker people to come in and try to kill me for the mean things I say on the internet. Um, anyway. And there I'm going to do film and business for some money. And then after that, I'm going to hook up with some of my friends who are also doing film. And we might, you know, move out to California, out to Cali, and take over the media. So, look out for us. Uh, what's the next question? Who is the flourisher you get the most inspiration? Who is the flourisher you get the most inspiration? Uh, I, I won't correct your grammar, so I'll just keep going. Um... I would say probably those guys out of Singapore. So that used to be Kevin Ho and Elijah Kai and Sylvester, if anyone remembers who that is. Um, that's where I got most of the things with this kind of idea, where you would have the flaring and like the, the slow motion aspect of it. Just because... Wait, hold, hold on a second. This is kind of rude. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so I really like the idea of the flaring and, like, the time-altering kind of thing, because I, I don't know, I just, it appealed to me. Um, and then, of course, there's always, no, I'm not affected by Devo, never mind, I'm not going to say that. Um, I don't know, most of the people who shaped me happened earlier, and right now, there isn't really anyone who I look up to, well... No, that's not true. I, I have admiration for a bunch of people, but not in the same way as I did in the past, where I would try to emulate. So, right now there's really no one who is altering the way that I handle cards. It's more just... I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep going. Uh, what about magicians? So, most of the guys who affect my magic, you don't know because they're little-time guys from little places in the country. But I, I could just name the regulars. So let's start off with Lee Asher, Paul Wilson, that whole group. Um, and then there's there's always, like, you know, Ed Marlowe, Di Vernon, blah, blah, blah. Keep going. <laughs> um... What are your top five flourishes of your own? Shit, do I have five flourishes of my own? Um, here, I'll, I'll set up a little bit so maybe you can see. This is awkward. Okay, so the first one, this is bad angle, but whatever, should kill me, is this, and this is e-break. And the basic idea for e-break was I wanted to get to this formation in a cool way. So I did so, I think. And then I also wanted to add this kind of a thing, where I could have a three packet, which was Bone's idea. And then I would come back up to here and have this thumb stall, which was really just a way for me to, like, bear claim to that. Because most of the time when I do actually perform it, I don't use the thumb stall. It's just, I put it in the tutorial so it could be mine forever. Um, other than that, oh, I had this thing with out of tornado where you would do the tornado once and then grab here and then did another flare and then this broke off that and then we get to another time alter flare kind of thing so most of my things kind of I don't know they follow like a I guess like a pattern or formula or whatever you want to call it 
Other than that, I don't know. I probably have more, just I don't remember. <sighs> the top five tricks I perform. Um, I'm into a lot of stuff with, like, think of a card. If you were on me beam, you probably saw me do it. Where I would have somebody, you know, look at a card. So I'd go like this, I'd look at one, I'd come back, I'd look through them. Mm, this one looks good. They tell me what it was, and it would be the card. Oh, I just lost my question. Shit. Okay. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm into that kind of thing. I also, I've always liked sandwich effects because, I don't know, they just appeal to me for some reason. And then there's always an ambitious card. And transpose have always kind of been stuck in my head. I'm going to keep going. Uh, do you think there's a day when we will stop inventing flourishes? Well, let's think about this mathematically. So, from a deck of cards, just from this one position alone, we can pivot from this point, from this point, from this point, from this point. I don't know if you can see this actually, so I'll, I'll just repeat it fast. You can go from the index finger, middle finger, ring finger, or pinky. You could drop cards too. And you could also go off the thumb or the base of the hand or any of these five fingers. And then you can start doing things off the side and then you can start using other parts and you can then go into this kind of thing and this kind of thing and who else knows? I don't know. Something like that. that that's a new idea. That's mine. But you can take it. That right there. Anyway. Um... I, I really don't think it's possible for someone to... Well, okay, I won't say that. At some point in time, everything will have been done. However, that will be in probably 500 years, so I'm not really scared of that, because, I mean, in 500 years, I hope that I won't be around, because I'll be fucking dirt or some shit. Uh, so, do I think that it could ever happen? Yes. Do I think that I'll ever see it happen? No. Next question. Which cards do I like to use? I don't care. These are studs. I mean, they're a little bit softer. I use bikes most of the time because they're cheaper. 12 for 14 bucks. Always works for me. Next question. Well, no, fuck that. People who get $100 playing cards are idiots. People who buy into the hype of wins and centurions and... I don't know, all that shit. You're retarded. Get bikes. They cost a dollar. End of story. Next question. Whoa, what kind of music do I listen to when I practice? I'm really into French electronica, or French electro. So anything by Ed Banger Records is good. So that's like Justice, uh, Sebastian, I don't know, what else? I don't know. Uh, then I'm also into slower stuff also. Alpha? Also? I don't know what I just said. Also. Uh, there's this guy, what's his name? Chris... Chris Marneau or something like that? I don't know. He sings a couple songs that are really slow. And I was thinking about putting them in. Actually, you know what? I don't like him. <laughs> because if one of you steal my songs, no, no. I don't like him at all, actually. So, never mind. Um, what do I think about the current flourishing community on the internet? See, this is where I'm getting into it. So I started off in Magic Video Depot, and that was all great. It was all well and good. Great time. And then, after a while, it wasn't so great. So, everyone followed... Fuck. Hold on. Got that taken care of. So everyone followed the main guy on Magic Video Depot, who at the time was Harwin. Now Harwin is our well-beloved Jonas, Jonas Haglund, and I followed him to his forum. After that, I went to Cheaters Cheaters, which was the m flourishing of magic golden time period. It was incredible. 
I mean, people who have actually disappeared completely had incredible shit showing things that I didn't even know were possible. Um, and then after that, that went down. Then we entered the dark ages of the online flourishing community. That's when I went to Handlords, stayed there for quite some time, and after a while it just got too weird. I mean, I'm not going to name any of the bad things that happened, because if you know your history, you know what happened, but yeah, just weird things started happening. So I got the hell out of there. After that I went to Dan and Dave, those forums died. Yes, they're dead right now. Uh, went to Technique. Oh, wait, no. Before that, I went to 52 Problems. That's a shout-out right there. Damn, that is old school. Then went to Technique. Was there for quite some time. Left that. And right now, there is no online flourishing as far as I'm concerned. I mean... I keep some people updated as to where I am through some of my YouTube things, but, I mean, as some people probably know, those aren't really meant to impress these people who sit in the corner and masturbate with cards. It's really... This entire thing is meant for laymen. It's not meant for your buddies who live in Arizona who you don't know, who sit there and play with their dicks as they watch you mess with cards. It, it's not meant for that. So, what I'm doing is I'm showing you real-world applications of all of the shit that you see on the internet, because those people don't actually do anything. <laughs> they sit in chairs, and they fiddle. I actually go out there and go for it. But, no more ranting. I'll keep going. What would you change? I would change literally everything. I would take the emphasis off of posting because I think that right now we have a lot of people who can speak big game but don't necessarily back it up with their skill bank. So, I mean, I won't name any names, but there is a large group of people who like to think of themselves as a big deal. I'll say it that way. And if we could somehow change the emphasis from... Well, no, because I also respect, respect, respect a smart person. So, let's say if we can... Okay, I'll just stop for a second. Get rid of fakeness. That's what you do. That solves all of this. Get rid of fake people. Done. Next question. Who do you think is the most talented amateur and why? And you can't say yourself. Okay, fair enough. Um, hmm. Probably, I don't know. I mean, Kevin Ho's damn good. Jonas is not an amateur, so I can't say him because he had a DVD a while back. Or at least he had popcorn on a DVD. Um, who else? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to stick with Kevin Ho. If I leave people out, I'm sorry. I mean, whatever. What do you think of my blog? And about myself as a beginning... Wait, what the fuck are you saying? What do you think about my blog and about myself as a beginner flourishing as far as you've seen. I like your blog. I think it spreads a lot of good inf information to, you know, the cardistry or fuck that, flourishers community. In terms of your stuff, I've only seen like two things. I mean, they're decent. That's decent in case you didn't catch on. Uh, I don't know. They're alright. You're not too shitty. Who would I like to see interviewed next? Well, I don't know who was interviewed in the past. So, I'm just going to go out there and say that I would like for you to interview 
Bobby has been, if you can contact him. Or... Oh, who else is there? Let's get some old school people. Oh, what about Lonnie? If you can get a, your hands on Lonnie, definitely talk to him. Other than that... No. Anything else I want to say? No. <laughs>